Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're not new here, thanks for coming back for another video. My channel is focused on entrepreneurship, modeling, traveling, and really just overall wellness and self-care. I am so excited to be making this video today where I'll be talking about tips and habits that will put you on the right path to being the best version of yourself in the new year, 2023. Um, I don't know how 2022 is already over. I feel like January to April went pretty slow or pretty average and then once it hit the summer until now it's just absolutely flown by i'm filming this video on new year's eve it's about four o'clock in denver and so it's already dark out i feel like i always get nostalgic at the end of the year and i try to analyze my year analyze my choices my habits my actions my decisions everything and i I go back to myself this time last year and I'm like, what were my hopes for 2022? Did I really execute and live up to my full potential and commit to myself in the way that I wanted to? It's just so crazy all the things that happen in a year. And so at the end of this year, probably since honestly like October, I've really been focusing on bettering myself, habits, podcasts, reading, exercising, and just really being selfish a little bit and taking care of myself and prioritizing myself and i'm really excited for 2023 to execute some of these things i've been working on and really fulfill what i feel like i'm supposed to be doing right now at the end of every year i always as a silent youtube watcher for the past however many years, I always go on YouTube and look at people's videos about how they're resetting for the year, goals they're setting, intentions, habits, eating well, all of those things so that I can see what other people are doing and inspire myself and better myself. I'm always so beyond grateful for content creators that put out this content because it always is helpful information for me. And so now that I'm finally you know, committing to YouTube, I am excited to be making this video and giving some of my advice and habits and tips and tricks for 2023. I have my list right here, so let's get into it. The first thing that I did, I actually did this last night after listening to Mel Robbins' podcast, is make a pro and con list of your life. The things that you're not enjoying and the things that you love in life. But she was talking about how if you're not happy or you don't know if you're on the right path right now, sit down with a piece of paper, draw a line right down the middle, which is what I did, and on the left side, just dump all the things about your life or your current situation that you don't like and that you're not enjoying. If I really sink into myself, this doesn't feel like it's serving me. And so I wrote all of those things down. And it's big things, it's little things, it's things I know I'm doing wrong, external, internal, everything. On the right side after that, dump all the things that you love in life. So for me, this was traveling, relationships, eating well, moving my body, reading, connecting with people, experiencing other cultures. All of those things that are so honestly like core to who I am and it's such a second nature for me. But when I looked at the list, it was very clear to me what I need to change and what I need to do to get more of the things that I love in my life. Tip number two is to set mindful habits and stick to them. And this can sound really daunting and it always has been daunting for me because you set all these habits and intentions in January and then by February 1st, if you're lucky, you're still sticking to them. Um, and so I actually just finished reading Atomic Habits by James Clear and I've seen this book everywhere. I've seen it on bookshelves and I just haven't read it. I loved this book. I think it validated so many things that I was feeling and thinking and also it's not just like a self-help book where it's very repetitive. It actually gives you tools and examples on how to implement things into your life and it's very research-based and I found it to be so helpful and I just keep hearing this over and over again how powerful it is to make small changes and stick to them in your life, building upon that with consistency. And these little changes that you're making, they compound over time and they will hugely, hugely benefit your life. And so some of the ones that I'm implementing are small, like really small, even just every night when I do the dishes, I have added this habit because doing the dishes before bed is a habit. 
and then after that I'm going to set the coffee up for tomorrow which is something I didn't used to do so I pour out the old coffee I fill up the water in the back and I pour I scoop the coffee into the coffee machine and then in the morning all I have to do when I get up because it takes me a second to get up is I come out here and I just hit start and then as I'm brushing my teeth and getting ready to come out and make breakfast my coffee's being made and it's you know it's just it's easier in the morning it's something that sets me up for success the next day and then I have my book that I read in the morning and my gratitude journal sitting on the table so you have to make your environment match your habits and so I'm setting myself up for success all day long and it's definitely hard sometimes because not everything is so second nature to me and it does feel uncomfortable and like there's a little bit of friction when I'm you know going through with these habits but I'm noticing already it's been about three weeks now I'm noticing already like how much better I feel and how much time I'm saving and I just feel accomplished and like proud of myself in a way because I'm doing this myself and I am sticking to it I know that it's benefiting me and helping me it's it's just something small that you can implement into your life going into 2023 and see change and feel that change as well okay so my third tip is getting up earlier this is something I struggle with and I'm holding myself accountable to it by putting it in this video so that it's on the internet and if I look back on this 2023 video I'm not getting up earlier speaking it into the universe getting up earlier it just sets you up for success during the day and it is something that I struggle with because I don't go to bed as early as I should. In the winter especially, I live in Denver, Colorado, it's really hard to get up in the morning sometimes because the sun doesn't really come up until like seven, even later than that right now, because it's December. And I definitely, definitely am someone that gets a little bit of seasonal depression and I lose a lot of motivation and steam in the winter months because of the sunlight and the daylight. And I just don't do well in the cold. So the winter is not my jam and I, notice that I love to just kind of like lay in bed like I'm awake but I don't get up and so that's something I'm trying to change so I'm setting my alarm 15 minutes earlier than I want to actually get up and I do this because I know myself and I know that I'm a snoozer so I will hit snooze as long as I can <laughs> and I'm trying to change that every time I listen to podcasts and interviews of successful people entrepreneurs anyone like that they all get up really early and there is a reason for that and I also love getting up early and coming out here with my coffee made when I hit the start button and I sit on the couch and I'm just visualizing my day and I'm feeling what I'm feeling and I'm just feeling intuitive and I can look at I have a really great view from my apartment and so I'm able to watch the view watch the Sun come up sit with my coffee I'm currently reading this so I sit here I read my book I visualize my day. I just am falling in love with getting up early. I know I'll be a lot happier about it in the summer months, but right now I'm just feeling accomplished when I do it. I'm realizing that I'm not that tired, you know? Like I just I just lay in bed and sleep in because it feels good and it's easier than getting up. I know that about myself. And so, you know, getting up earlier, setting those intentions, having a clear mind, not being late, making a breakfast, drinking my coffee, it's all adding positivity to my life that is something that i would really suggest doing if you're someone like me that loves to snooze and take some time in the morning <laughs> my fourth tip that i am going to be sticking to in 2023 and this is so cliche i feel like but i'm gonna say it is to read at least one book a month for me it's not that i don't like reading it's that i just feel like i'm either in a reading mood for a few months or I'm not and so I'll read a bunch of books for like three or four months and then two months will go by and I'll realize I haven't picked up a book and I don't know what that is it's really I think it's just my life gets crazy or I'm not focused or I'm not being intentional with my time but this year I'm doing at least one book a month I've already read two in December and then once I finish this I'll be at three which by the way I love this book it's so good and I, I know that there's challenges out there where you read like a non-fiction book only or you read a self-help book only but for me I've read you know, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Atomic Habits, My Body by Emily Ratajkowski. I read a real variety of books and I, I love the diversity. I love that I can pick something that fits whatever mood I'm in. I think a big reason that I'm loving this reading journey right now is that it is something 
so productive and valuable that I can put my time towards instead of scrolling on social media, which is something that it's a habit that I have and it's not amazing. I started my business a few years ago and it required me to be on social media a lot and just haven't real butt in. In all honesty, TikTok is so entertaining and I love TikTok. I feel like I'm learning a lot on there. I'm expanding my knowledge on social media and trends and all those things like i'm not just melting away on tiktok but i know that i could be giving my energy to something else um there's a few book clubs that i follow that have podcasts when i finish my book i get to go listen to their podcast episode about it and feel included and involved after reading it and so it's just it's adding a lot of enrichment to my life and i feel so much more accomplished when i'm reading a book or finishing a book or finishing a few chapters than I am when I'm just scrolling on my phone. Having that habit I think is a good one to have, especially if you need to bring down your screen time. And I've also been able to join a few communities online through book clubs and it's just added a lot of value into my life. My fifth and final tip for you to be your best self in 2023, I put this at the end because I feel like everybody says this and it's not a lot of new information and I don't want people to put their self-worth in their weight or their size or their body image or how people perceive you when they see you and i'm trying to be as sensitive as i can with this because i am thin and i am i've always been thin i mean i do work out me really well so i know that i you know i set myself up for success in that area but i know that i always will be probably a relatively thin person and you know, I grew up in the modeling industry, I'm still in the modeling industry, and I know, I firsthand know how being valued by your size or what you look like feels. I've been told to lose weight, I've been told to gain weight, I have lost the weight, I have gained the weight, you know, so I'm very sensitive about this topic and it's something that I would love to kind of elaborate more on and like dive into a little bit more on my channel because I feel like it's just something that still needs to be talked about a lot but for me i have been on a long journey with this where working out and exercising was kind of like a punishment for what i ate that day and i looked really good um when i when i did that and when my life looked like that but i didn't feel really good i wasn't nourishing my body i wasn't taking care of myself all i cared about was the number on the scale and the measurements and it definitely takes a toll on a young girl so i don't want to sit here and tell you to lose weight in the new year or prioritize working out x amount of times in the new year that's not what i'll ever do on this channel but i just want to say that if for me in my life when i'm feeling down sluggish not motivated what i'm doing is i am making sure that i move my body and it doesn't mean I have to go to the gym and have the best workout of my life because that's what it used to mean for me. It used to mean for me that I had to get to the gym, run four miles, do all this working out, sweat like crazy, um, burn X amount of calories, eat X amount of calories after. Like that's what it meant for me and it doesn't mean that for me anymore and I feel so much better. And I just wanna say that prioritizing your health and what that looks like for you and that can be going to the gym and being there for 20 minutes and walking on the treadmill, walking in the incline, walking not in an incline, just moving your body and getting yourself to the location of working out, that is the, that is the friction, for me at least, is getting from my apartment or from my job or whatever to the gym. That takes me a minute to kind of like get prepared, get ready, get there. But once I'm there, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do what feels good to me that day. This is another thing from Atomic Habits. I'm serious, if you haven't read that book, you should read it. It's, it's again, it's the habit of moving your body. And it, it doesn't have to be 110% every time. There's been a few days where I'm on my period and I'm not feeling good and I'll go to the gym, I will walk on the treadmill and I will leave. And that for me is such an accomplishment. When I'm feeling kind of crappy and I don't wanna go but I've never gone to the gym and regretted it. And that's the thing. So I think, how are you gonna set yourself up for that? What feels good to you? What's your goal? There's so much pressure with January and New Year's about getting to the gym and losing weight. Okay, I'm finally gonna lose these 10 pounds. I could talk about this literally for hours, but 
some of those stone cold goals are amazing and motivating but also sometimes if you can't reach it or it seems too far away it's hard to even start and so i think just validating for you that it doesn't have to be this massive goal none of my goals are massive goals for 2023 but it's making small changes in my life that are going to compound and make me feel better and more fulfilled and happier and moving my body even though i'm already someone that works out a lot packing my bag with my gym clothes and bringing it in the car to work because then i will go straight to the gym if i'm at work and i come home and it's dark out at five o'clock i'm probably not gonna go but if i have my clothes packed and my makeup remover and my hair ties i will go and i will be home at seven and i will be so accomplished i'll feel so much better whatever that looks like. But if I don't set myself up for that success in the morning, I put my gym bag out at night, and then in the morning after I you know, do my coffee and my reading and my getting up early, then I go pack that really quick before I leave. But it's because my gym bag is out that I see it and I'm like, okay, yep, yeah, I have to do that, I have to pack that, and then I'll go. And sometimes I pack the gym bag and I tell myself, I probably won't go today. But then when the day ends, and I have everything in my car, I'm like, why not, I'll just go. So it's really that preparedness and setting yourself up and manipulating your environment to result in those little successes. And the little successes like starting my coffee machine or packing my gym bag or having my book out so that I reach for my book instead of my phone. These little things that I have started doing have made such a change in my life, in the way that I feel about myself. I feel more accomplished. I feel like I'm being more mindful in the decisions that I'm making and it's paying off. This is my gratitude journal. So the five minute journal, it's so easy. You write the things that you're grateful for at the top. I'm grateful for what would make today great, daily affirmation. And then the, these are the nighttime ones. So what, what were the highlights of the day and what did I learn today? And this has just been a great and easy practice of gratitude that I've implemented into my life and I actually I got this idea from Jen Atkin I read her book blowing my way to the top which I'll also link down below I'll link all my favorite books um, and I'll do a video about my favorite books of 2022 because I have a few I think I've gone on a few tangents in this video um, I'm just really passionate about wellness and self-help and self-care and taking care of yourself and prioritizing yourself so I have just been looking inward a lot and thinking asking myself honestly am I maximizing my potential am I fulfilling what I feel like I'm supposed to do if you really sit with yourself and kind of get out of your head and get down here what feels right whatever intentions you're setting i think the key is to keep them a little bit smaller and maybe there's more of them but they're just a little bit smaller and that helps to accomplish them and then say okay what's next and what's next and what's next rather than shooting for this and then it feels too far away and you can't see the strategy and you can't see the struggle that it's going to take to get here but what's this goal and what's this goal and what's this goal so that's where my head is at in 2023 and i hope i really really hope this video was helpful i'm gonna link all my books down below um, i'm gonna link my instagram my socials and all of those things please let me know what you're implementing in your life what goals you're making what habits you're setting if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching and thank you for clicking in the first place um, i will see you guys next sunday i'm sticking to this so if you liked this video, if you took any value away, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me this year and for helping me grow my channel to well over a thousand subscribers, which was a huge goal for me at the beginning of the year. And this year, I cannot wait to see where this channel goes and where we go together. And I'm so excited to just keep growing, providing content, providing valuable information. If you guys have anything you'd like me to talk about, modeling, body image, traveling, business, entrepreneurship, being in your 20s, whatever that is, please leave a comment below and I will be sure to get to that. And I just, I'm feeling good about 2023. And so I hope you guys are too. And thank you so much for watching. Have a safe and happy new year and I'll see you in the next one.